When you look back at your childhood and think about the shows you used to watch, what comes to your mind? Maybe it's Sesame Street, maybe it's Blue's Clues, maybe it's Dragon Tales if you were a kid like me who couldn't afford cable. But regardless of what it is, there's one trait that children cartoons always seem to share. And that trait is that most children shows are hit or miss in terms of quality. There are plenty of cartoons that I grew up on that I still rewatch on occasion or can look at today without cringing. But on the other hand, there are some cartoons I look back on and just think to myself, what the heck was I thinking? The one cartoon I'm going to be talking about today is a show that transcends the definition of what a bad kid show is. One that is on fanboy and chum chum levels of bad. One that will make you lose so much brain cells that by the end of this video, you're going to contemplate how any human being alive on this planet could possibly come up with such an abomination. This cartoon is... A show that ran from 2001 to 2005 on PBS Kids. I'm surprised it ran as long as it did considering its poor quality, but I guess this just shows that kids will watch anything that you put in front of them. I was unfortunately one of those kids because like I said before, I used to love this show. But now I can't even watch it for a full 10 seconds without cringing. <laughs> so without further ado, let's dissect this garbage show and see why it's such a bad cartoon. Oh, who am I kidding? If you guys have been looking at the footage of this video so far, the problems would be self-explanatory. First off, let's talk about the main issue, the character designs. I don't know what type of stuff these people were smoking when they created these characters, but it clearly must have been something good if they thought that putting baby faces on airplanes was a good idea. Seriously, like what in the actual freak is that supposed to be? It'd be like me googling a picture of a random dude, coloring him orange, and calling him the annoying orange. You can't just merge a human looking face with a piece of machinery and go, oh, yep, yep, that, that's an airplane. D d definitely an airplane, yep, yep, I see no problem here. N no, no, you can't do that. I'm sorry, but there are some things that just don't work. You would think that if they wanted to make a show up with airplanes, maybe they'd take the Cars movie route, or even the Planes movie route, and actually make the characters look natural and not jaw-droppingly creepy. Granted, I know that this show was made before the Cars and Planes movies were a thing, but anything would have been better than this. Don't even get me started on their smiles. Seriously, they're enough to give you nightmares. It also doesn't help that this show was a live action slash CGI cartoon hybrid because this was back when CGI was still a relatively new thing. And as a result, it has aged terribly. And the bad character designs just pop out even more when they're next to the human characters who are just kind of there to act like mentors and don't act like anything else. So what is the plot I hear you asking? Good question. I honestly can't give you a solid answer to that. While making this video, I watched a few episodes of the series, and like many other children cartoons, it doesn't really have an ongoing narrative. Rather, each episode just has its own plot that centers around one of the characters. In one episode, the plot may be Snuffy trying to get over a shyness, but in another, it may be about all the characters playing a surprise birthday party for Big Jake. Oh yeah, I guess I should talk about the characters themselves. JJ is the main character with a very upbeat personality. Snuffy is basically the yeah. Luigi of the series, meaning he acts kind of cowardly and is shy. And Tracy is... Like JJ, but a girl. Seriously, they basically got JJ's design, colored him purple, made his skin darker and wheels significantly different and called that new design Tracy. Her personality is also basically the same as JJ's too, so yeah, she's basically girl JJ. Finally, there's Herky, a yellow helicopter with the most annoying voice in the series. The voice acting in this is already pretty bad on its own, but Herky's voice makes all the other voices sound at least decent. For some reason, they thought it'd be a good idea to have Herky roll every R in every sentence. This can make him pretty annoying to listen to. Ooh, here she comes! Get ready for the big boom she makes when she flies really fast! As for the human characters, the only significant human character is Brenda Blue, who, like I said before, really just acts like a mentor and nothing else. There are some other human characters who make guest appearances, but it's just that, guest appearances. Most of these characters only appear in one episode and then we never see them ever again. So the human characters are basically non-existent and only show up when the time calls for it. To be honest, I think the show would have been better off without the human characters because one, they already have adult planes on the show who fill in that mentor role already, and two, because it's just flat out unrealistic. Now I know you're probably saying, Jason, it's a show about talking planes. It's not supposed to be realistic. And that's true. But the planes heads are bigger than Brenda's entire body. JJ could easily eat her up and kill her with those deadly flesh-eating teeth of his. She should be freaking out and questioning why there are cartoon planes with human faces coexisting with humans. <laughs> Here's...
characters, yet she never does. In fact, none of the human characters ever do. They just kind of accept that they look like that. In fact, it raises another question. What do normal airplanes look like? Do they even exist? Or are all airplanes in this universe just mutated humanified versions of something? I don't know. I'm going on a tangent at this point. Let me get back to the point. Characters and plot aside, the show also has songs and singing. All the songs are nothing special and are just very cringy in my opinion due to the bad voice acting. Overall, this show is just not that good. It has bad CGI, the songs are meh, the characters are as flat as a board personality wise and it just isn't a good cartoon. In the future when I have my own kids you better believe I would never show them this cartoon when there are so many other cartoons out there that easily outshine this one. And I haven't even covered the model series which were basically the JJ the jet plane pilot episodes. Those are even worse. In fact it's so bad that I could only watch for about 5 minutes before I flat out lost my sanity. Anything that can be seen as redeemable about this show can only be seen that way if you're looking at this show through a child's lens. But I'm not looking at the show through a child's lens, I'm looking at it through a 17 and a half year old lens. And this 17 year old isn't pleased. There's nothing here for teens or young adults like you and me. While this show isn't the worst I've ever watched, it's still in my top 3. And I'm giving this show an easy diaper out of 10. Interpret that as you will. If you want to show your younger siblings or child a good children's show, show them this okay. cartoon instead. Or this okay. one. Or this okay. cartoon. Okay. Or this one. Or maybe even this okay. one. Or maybe even some okay. of these. Or any of these that are on screen right now. All of these are on screen right now. Just show them these. Show them this over the crap fest that is JJ the Jet Plane because that show is utter trash. Okay, rant's over. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.